Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a, a guest design team project for Couture Creations. I will be using a collection called Steampunk Dreams and this is designed by a lady by the name of Lucy Kem Kempianu. I think that's how we say her name, but there we go. I'll just put it on the screen there. Um, this is Steampunk dreams collection and I have two of the papers from the collection I think there's four in total I have paper number four which is all this design here and it has a lovely wood grain effect on the back there and I also have this paper here which is it's a really nice rusty kind of weathered look and this is paper number three and that's the other side of it there also with some rust marks and things like that. I also have some stamps and dies from the collection which I'll just show you before we get started. The first thing I have is called Distress Tags Cutting Die Set. And as you can see, see how it's got like distressed edges and I haven't tried any of these yet so this is going to be nice and interesting to see how they turn out for my project and I'm not sure exactly which ones I will be using in my first project either so it'll be a bit of a surprise. The second one I've got is the Hearts Fly Stamp and Die Set. So these are the stamps for the set and it also comes with a die for the set as well and then also I have one called lovely dragonflies stamp set it's a bit hard to see but there you go I'll put it on the white background for you and there we go that's nice isn't it And then I also have the Gears and Butterflies, uh, no, I'm sorry, Gears and Butterflies die set. There's also a stamp set that comes with this, but I've just got the die for this. And lastly, I have one that is called Open Wings. Cut and Create die set and it's a two-piece die set so you can position the wings any way you like. And so that's what I'm going to be playing with and like I said I really I haven't tried any of them yet so this is going to be fun and I, I'm not sure which ones out of all these that I will be using for this particular project but definitely I will be using these papers and the first thing I want to do is cut a piece off this. So what I thought I might like to do because I only have the two papers to work with I've got to try and get as much out of it as I possibly can. Um, so I have I have this dress form here. Uh, this one was actually sent to me by Zephy. Thank you, Zephy. I do make these myself, but um, because I want to get one done right now, I'm going to use one that's pre-made. Um, so I'm thinking of making a steampunk dress form for this particular project. Let's have a think, shall we? We don't want it too long, so I'm thinking perhaps about that long. Okay, the best way to start these sorts of things is just to start. It's just to start. Okay. Uh, no, well, that was a mistake straight away, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Um... I really like that it's pretty, isn't it? Okay. I'm just... That's okay, we can work with it. I need a circle. 
a large a large circle I think. So that is about four, four and three, three eighths, is it? And so we want this, although it could come down a bit longer at the back, which would be fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is use this lid, and I'm just going to draw a pick. A, um, just going to draw a, a pencil line like that and it may be longer here and I'm kind of hoping it is no I managed to get it exactly the same but that's okay I can use that as a, a guideline um, okay. I also receive from Couture Creations these lovely little scissors, so we will be using those to make our project. And these are the stainless steel blades, extra sharp, soft, comfy grip for left or right hand use. They look like little bumblebees, don't they? <laughs> okay, so that's the line I drew, but I'm actually going to take it down a little bit lower than that, I think. Okay, and I will just rub that out because we don't need it there. Can you hear the rain? It's been raining non-stop all day. It's lovely. Okay, not too concerned because I actually want it on this side. I might just round that part at the bottom a little bit though so it's not quite so... Pointy, and I need a little circle just maybe like that. Let's say because I know it needs to be probably a little bit wider than that. Get that down like that, I think. So I might want to curve these two edges here as well. Like 
that. Okay, um, just looking for, just going to use a bit of a bone folder, see if I can just curl that bit there a bit better, like that, and the same here. There, and then I'm just going to run it along. It just helps shape the paper, it takes a little bit of the stiffness away from it, but being careful not to actually um, rip the paper. Alright, isn't it? Yeah, I can curl that. I didn't probably need a pencil or something like that, but that's just to get it started. Okay. So that will kind of go like, like there, that'll have that. Okay. Um, that's fine. It'll have something underneath it too. And this, so what we need to do, that's just to get me started. So we'll put that over there. Sometimes you have to start with a just something to look at for a minute. Okay, I need to get my die cut out and I'll probably need to cut this in half I would think uh, let's have a look what I'm going to use here um, maybe that I think is that using this and I'm thinking this little chain off there. Oof, that's stuck down hard. There we go. So I'll just use the chain from this one for this project. I will probably do some decorating using these as well as well but just to get started I am going to cut out I won't cut that yet um going to cut out some wings that'll give me a bit more vision of what I want to do uh, okay so they're all cut out now I've done lots of the cogs and a few of the chain pieces I've done is some of these wings here for the stamp. I perhaps should have stamped them before cutting them out, but I'll do my best to um, use the stamp on them. And then I've also cut out some of these wings here. They're embossed as well. They're really pretty. And I have to say, all the dies cut excellently no sticking all the little bits just fell out it was lovely and I didn't use any release paper or anything like that so it all all worked really beautifully okay let's just move those to the side and what I might do now just want to get rid of all those little bits what I might do now is go ahead and stamp the wings on these this large wing piece here I do like this as well it's like wire okay so they're all stamped out and it did stamp out really nicely nice and um, even 
this one's a little bit light in the center but that's nothing to do with the stamp that's more user error <laughs> um, but no that worked really well so I have used some black ink on that and let's just straighten it out we may use the what does that say hearts fly better with love I probably use that as well but not right now I'm still working my way around what I'm doing so I'll just put that back over here and that's the hearts fly stamp set that one so Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. We need a top for her dress. So um, that's what I was thinking of doing with these ones. So I was actually going to cut the middle part out of these, I think. And what are we going to do? I'm just trying to work out how to manipulate these into that might work like that there. with this sort of thing you have to play around a little bit until you get what you're looking for like that okay so that could work there and maybe let me just this one didn't I didn't push hard enough in the center but perhaps we could do that in the center like that but use the good one in the center there all right so we're going to put that like that. When you do it, you gotta you have to soften the cardstock a little bit when you're doing things like this. And see how I've pinched that part here. When I open it up, see it, it actually makes a little pattern for you. So all I have to do is where that was creased is just Cut that so when I put it back on like that see how it closes up but it's not bulky and then you can press that over the over the bump there and it will sit really nicely so that's that side and then let's see where it was sitting sitting about there so now we'll do this side here which will like that and we do the same thing just make that little crease I hope you're seeing that a little see that like it goes up and down it's just like if you were uh, making clothing it's a little dart and then you can just that and see how that's a little triangle when that closes up it goes together like that and gives a much neater look so that will go like that there on that side I did accidentally rip it but that's okay we'll glue that down and that will come to the back like that okay now I'm wondering do I want to leave this this color the color is not too bad because the, it matches in with the colors in this anyway so I may I may leave it the way it is I think all right now I do have some glue Couture Creations were kind enough to send me a turbo precision glue pen I have never had a glue pen before so I'm presuming we give it a bit of a shake I did I did open it and have a look at it and it is refillable too which is really nice isn't it so and when you first get it you have to shake it so we will just start and what I'm going to whoops 
Did I shake that enough? I don't think I did. Just a moment. Okay, so I'm just I'm just going to do this part first. Just position it like that and let that part dry first and then I can come under here and put more because it's sticky up until about there and put more and bring it around the back but I need it to dry before I continue on. I'm going to let that sit and what I might do is also put the other side on and let those two pieces dry a little bit first and then I'll come back and do the back part. Okay so that seems to be holding quite well. Um, so now I'm just going to apply some glue to the back here on both sides. And just curl it around like that molding it to the body and what I'll do is I'll just let that side dry and then I'll do exactly the same for that side and fold that over and then she will have part of her top on and then I'll come back okay so I've got the back on now and now we're going to have a look at the front. Now, this one I didn't stamp very well in the center, but this one I did. So I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to cut that out. Okay. And I'm just going to soften the paper a little bit by doing that. The paper's not too thick to do this sort of thing with but it's still nice to be able to soften the paper. Now I kind of need to work out how I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, how do we want it? Do we want it like that? Or maybe we could turn it up side down and have it like that. That might work quite well. Yes. What I just need to do though is make a little tiny slit here. Like a, a very small triangular shape just so when that comes together probably didn't need to be that big but that's okay um, we can slot that back in a bit and it will be hardly noticeable just so it didn't puff out here and it's probably best as well just let me give that another little shake been sat there but we shouldn't leave the thing. I'm just going to put glue in the center part here to start with let's have a look just like that yeah and I'll let that dry 
then I'll put glue under here and then glue under here and then I will sit this little piece over the top. I probably didn't need to cut a triangle there. I probably just needed to do a slit. So don't cut a triangle, cut a little slit. And that way, because it, it only has to move a fraction, it doesn't have to move that much, but it's okay. It'll still be all right. Get that in the exact position. You want to be covering up all the edges of the where the wings were ending under there. Okay. Okay, I've just put a little bit of the glue on that little triangle piece and I'm just going to put that back over the top, just at the front there. And you'll probably never even notice that that was taken out in the first place. So don't take the triangle out, just put a little slit in it, just in case you need to have that extra little bit of movement there. But that's all glued on now. Okay, now what? Our skirt is somehow going to come down like that. Oh, I just had a thought. Oh, I just had a thought. I wonder if... Um, I could use those two at the front there. But I wonder if I could, I don't know. How did I say I was going to do that like that? No, the other way wasn't it like that? Maybe I can do a bit of stamping around the top of the skirt. Maybe I can. Uh, like that there. That could go perhaps there. Like that. Um. I need to keep the same sort of angle, I think. If that's going like that, then I can stamp. There. Or there. And there. Like that. a bit too hmm
see it doesn't have to come right up there it's a steampunk look isn't it so let's think here that could go like down there and have a bit of her hip line showing and we could have like a belt out of the chain going around there perhaps have a cog oh we could cover those like that have cogs here maybe we'll see but this that looks that looks all right yeah and maybe how long's the front of the dress Do we need that one underneath? That's the thing. See, I like that, like that. Is that going to fit? Sorry, just chatting away to myself here. I've got to make sure. So that basically needs to be in the centre there. But that brings it too high. See, so she's very curvy, this girl. Very curvy indeed. <laughs> Uh, so there to there like that of course that will come down like that do we want these Maybe they don't need to be that long. Maybe they could just be... Oh, see, they could be like that. Like, you know, that kind of effect doesn't have to be long at all, does it? Like that. Kind of like that, like that, yep, and like that around there, yep. And these are going to be on the back. Do I want that color? Yeah, I think I do. It's that color on that side. I wonder if I could stamp a couple of these, just the feathery part on there, just to add a bit of feather. That might look nice. And have that like that, but I want a couple of layers. Um, like that. Yeah, and I can just manipulate those a little bit I think yeah so we need to get this on first see I, I don't have enough of the paper to go all the way around so I've got to just work with what I've got so like that but first we just do that curl it around a bit Like that so it goes like that like that and that um, 
I did notice these two are very similar, aren't they, in colour. Do I want to exchange one of those so they're not quite... Actually, that's a bit bright. Maybe I'll use those two. Yeah. And those two, and let's just use this one down here because it's got more of that colour in, but we can kind of go like that to soften it. So how did we want it? Was it? I thought it was more like, like that. doesn't give it anything at the front. It needs to be further around, doesn't it? Like, oh, how did I have it before? I need another set of hands. I think it was more like that and about like that. Okay. Perhaps it was more like that, I'm thinking. Alright, well. I will glue that to the underside of the skirt as well so it won't be just sat there like that. So that one like that and that one kind of like that I guess. Is that how it was? Maybe one bit higher than the other. Yeah, that way it looks. I think so. Because this is a precision tool and I'm not actually using it for precision gluing. A bit hired, I said, didn't I? Just so we get that layered, that layered effect there. Yeah. Okay. I think that will work. Yeah, I think that might be a bit better. I hope. Unless I just twist it down a little bit so we get more of the... I want to see the feathery kind of look. You know, like that. Maybe that will be better. I think so. I hope so. Let that sit and dry now. I have a lighter chain that colour or the blue as well. We'll see when we've got this on. I need what I want to do. Just leave that to dry. What are we going to do here? That. You do some feathers. I just need to be using the small part, say, and put some feathery marks around it. 
Okay, let's just straighten that off and see what I can do. I have this, maybe I can just use that. No, it's not quite big enough. Try this one, maybe that one will work. on the bottom part here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoops, hang on, look. Oh, got it all over that corner. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so we've got that there, and I've got to do one here, one here, and see how I go. But I'm not going to do all that on camera because that kind of makes me a bit nervous. So you saw how I did that, just putting ink on one thing. So I'm going to go around, and I've got to be careful because I you know, I've got to look after my paper, so I'll see how I go and then I'll... Okay, so I've, I've done the best I could do, I think. Made it look all feathery. What I might do is just cut... Uh, just, you know, like that. A little bit of fussy cutting around the edge of it, so it's not so straight. Like that, and I'll do that all the way around, and that'll give it a a better look, I think. All right, so I've cut around there like that. Now I kind of want to um, curve curve the paper a little bit, like it's fabric, if that makes sense. Just you know, because fabric, unless it's really thick, doesn't just hang straight. So I just want to put some waves in it. And if you're gentle and... have to play a little bit more once it's on too so just so it doesn't stick right out so it has more of a softness to it and once again I'm going to put glue on the back and once that's thoroughly dry I'm going to glue it so it sits like that and then once that's thoroughly dry then I can wave the fabric a little bit more in the style that I want it to be. So I will do that and that's that's my son's playing the keyboard. Um, yeah, see I want it kind of like that. I think that looks a bit better to have those waves in it. And then I'll be back once that's all dry and then I can play a bit more. Okay, so that has dried now in place quite nicely and I went ahead and just uh, grabbed a couple of these chains and glued it together just on a slight angle because what I thought I might do is pop that down the front of her dress there but then change it over to the darker colour to go around like that and glue that in place and these two that I had before I might just pop here and and they're like and in there like that 
just to add another layer to the front there as well. Um, but first I need to put that chain on. And also, well, I was sent some premium adhesive pearls from Couture Creations as well. Um, these are the two that I thought would go best with this particular project. We have a silver 3mm adhesive pearl and we also have... Uh, I'm trying to think what the color of chocolate it says okay sorry chocolate and this is this is a very small one this is probably a two millimeter can you see the difference in the size there and I thought I might use these on this project as well uh, the silver ones I may put one between on each of these joining pieces here that will also cover up that little join as well and I will probably put some going up the bodice as well perhaps and maybe the chocolate colored ones on this little stamped piece there and then perhaps get some of these little cogs and put those on her dress as well a couple of different ones there that's the smallest cog so maybe that one there let me just say I've got a whole variety here and then that's a larger one I could put there on her dress. What do you think? That could work. I was just um, trying to work out what to put down the edge of the skirt. I'm not too bothered with the back of it here but perhaps I could use some more of this chain as well. Um, and then I still have the wings to do. I have these wings here. So I've got one, there's one set there. Where's the other one gone? Oh, oh here. Um, and then this one here. Is that the same? That's not the same. I need to... Oh, I was going to stamp. That's right. I was going to stamp over it, but I didn't like the way that looked. I thought that it's... She's going to end up looking like a bird. <laughs> so I need to um, recut one in that... Oh, no, I've got one here. That's all right. That's all right. I've got the right amount. So, okay. So I've got the two wings and I want to attach those to the back and I'm trying to think do I want it that way or do I want that colour and I'm quite sure I want that way. Um, I'm trying to work out perhaps how to bend them because I don't want them straight. So if, if they're attached to the back like that, there, and they can have a nice bent effect, like see, like that, um, and like one there, and then one slightly lower as well. Um, And that would be bent as well, I think. Like that. Yeah. Yes. So that's, see how that goes? It'll be like that type of thing. Um, and what I thought on the back, and that will be the back there, what I thought was... Uh, Perhaps like that one will be like that and then there'll be another one here but then perhaps I could use you know a bit of this a chain to join them both and that would, would keep them in the right position as well so I thought that might be a good idea 
Oh, and I don't see how I've got the wood grain, and I've got the wood grain going the wrong way. It would have been smarter to have it the other day, the other way, but I didn't really know what I was doing. It's like it's it's the right way at the front, of course, but because it's a circle, it goes across like that. So I'm wondering whether I should do a couple more of these and kind of just put those, you know, on the back there, like that and like that somehow um, or have the wings even bigger and have them like coming all the way down just to hide so we end up with oops that's the wrong one isn't it oh I can't do another one at the moment but y you know what I mean have three instead of two have that there, but and one in the middle, and then well, it might be a bit too much. I just kind of want to disguise, see how it goes straight across. Um, or once again, if I've got the chain going, it'll be going around like that, around her waist. Maybe if it if I position it right, maybe I could have a couple going down like that. It's the wrong colour. And like that. And it may distract a little bit may distract from but I can still see those stripes I'll work something out for that it might not be as obvious it's just that I can see it and it kind of annoys me a little bit um, or if I've got some black ribbon or something I can always tie some ribbon there and have that coming down that might be a nice option as well so that is what I'm going to do I may also put these on each of the points going around here as well. That might be nice. And uh, so we we're going to put one of those there, maybe one in the center, and, and that one there. We'll work something out. I'll have something for that, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I feel that the, that's a bit plain there. Um, I'm not quite sure. It might not be plain by the time I've got this all, you know, like that's going to go like that. Um... I have to work out what to put around here because I just I just don't like the way that looks. It looks a bit too sharp. Unless I just ink it a bit. I don't want it looking too dark, that's all. Hmm. I'll work something out. I'll go ahead and do what I just told you and then I'll be back. And this is what I'm going to be putting the little pearls on with. This is a Couture Creations craft knife that I was sent as well. And all the things that I use in this tutorial today, I will put the, the number for that item in the description box below. And this comes with five bonus blades. We have a little visitor, but because we're going to be using a sharp knife I think we'll get her off the desk today can you hear the rain it's still going it's been like that all day and it's oh it's almost nine o'clock at night now it's beautiful weather for crafting I've been waiting for this all this cooler bit of cooler weather okay that's a pretty pink one isn't it We'll pop the blades over to one side. Move that packaging out of the way. 
always keep your lid. Okay, so you tighten the base there. Okay, so unscrew that and you are able to remove your blade. Always have the sharp part facing away from your fingers if you can. Pop it back in, hold it carefully and then tighten it up at the bottom there. Okay, I'm not cutting with it, I'm going to be using it to remove the little pearls and to put them onto the dress form. Okay, I'm back and I went ahead and did all those things I said I was going to do. I've put all the silver. Now there was a name on this. It is stunning silver. That is what it's called. Flat back pearls all the way around the bodice part. Around these little leaves here, just on the tips of the feathery part. I've done it across the top of the bodice as well. And I didn't take it fully to the back because I want to attach the wings. I did put it on the little chain links as well. I used the little chocolate cover smaller flat back pearls across the design on the front of the bodice and I did put a couple of cogs here I put a silver flat back in the center of this one and just one of my own um, gems in the center of that one and with this one I've put that um, I've put a large one and a small one and it's quite dimensional and I used the I use the foam mini dots. They're in black. They're self-adhesive and they're also from Couture Creations and they stick really well. I did it on an angle if you can see. So it lifts up on this side. See how it's like that? But then it's flat on this side so I just popped a little bit of glue under that side to hold it down and I like the way that looks. And on the inside of this skirt what I did was I got my little cogs and I cut them in half and place them around just around the edge and I, I like that it kind of gives it a lace effect but in a steampunk way and what I thought I might do is I put a couple on the skirt here because um, it just it tends to look a little bit plainer on there so that that is my thought anyway just to put a couple on here mm. something like that anyway I'm thinking about doing that but I can do that as I go along um, the wings the wings. I was going to have them up like that but I thought she's not actually flying she's in a resting position so I think I'll have them down like that and I will I will put two on each like that but what I thought I have these ones that I stamped out in the beginning and I thought I wonder if I could kind of incorporate a bit of that in there as well just to break up the darkness of the the wings here. Mm. Is that the right? Yeah, kind of like, you know, Maybe that's the wrong way. Maybe it needs to be that way. Like that half of the wing. And like... Kind of like that perhaps. Just have a bit of that feathery part showing somehow. Just to lighten it. I'll have to play with that I think but that will be next and to hold those on at the back I think I mentioned this before I think I'll grab 
uh, just let me put that over there so it doesn't get bumped around. Grab one of these chain links and give it a slight twist. You'll have to excuse my fingers, they're stained with the ink. Give it a little twist just so it's got a curve but not too much of a curve. And so it's like I can connect it like that and have that one connected to the other wing. Alright, so just to finish things off, I'm going to be using these large foam dots here in black. I've used some already um, on the wings, but what I thought I would do is just put some in the middle of these and perhaps stack up a couple of these cogs like that <laughs> they're really sticky <laughs> Come on. They have a little clear plastic coating on them. Uh, next size up, which is if I have one, um, I'll go for this one here. It's not quite the next size up, but oh, it is, I think. There's actually five, but I've only got four different ones that are left from what I cut out. So I'll just move to a smaller foam dot now. The small black one that I showed you before. that on there like that and perhaps we'll stick with the dark ones put that on there like that it actually almost slips right through that but you see what I've done made like a little pyramid with it and I'm hoping I can use that. Oops. I need to put some glue on there or maybe another dot perhaps. Uh, I might want glue actually so that it sits straight on top here like that and then have something coming out of the top of that. Maybe like that. That might look better on an angle, hey. So, oops, I've dropped it. Okay, so we'll get a bit of glue on this. And attach that to the top of the dress form. And then I will go and look for something for the very top and a base. And then I'll be finished and I will show. Okay, so she is done. She's still drying a little bit, but I'd just like to finish off this video. I know it's been very long, and if you stuck with me all the way through, thank you so much. I will have some uh, still photos on the Couture Creations blog. There will be a write-up on this with some uh, still photography so you can see it in a little bit more detail um, as you can see I did put little chain links between the link the wings here just so see there at the side just to hold that those wings separated so they don't close up too much there is the little ruffle around her neck it's got a gem on top and that's what it looks like there I did put the wings through the 
die cut machine again and I put a cardboard shim in with it and got this beautiful embossed more of a deep embossed look to it which I really really like and so I did another one and cut it up and put it on the skirt as well can you see how much texture that gives um, I didn't use a shim the first time I put the die through so you can certainly see the difference between only a very light embossing and a deeper one with so much more texture and um, I slightly inked around the edge inside just to soften the look of those die cuts on the back I added a little chiffon black ribbon like I said I would probably do with a double bow I used one of these stamps that I'd made and put it in the center of her wings on the back. I cut out another heart shape using the black foam dots. I put that behind it so it's a bit more dimensional. Use some more cogs there and one on the center of the bow as well with one of the silver pearls and my own gems in the center and I'm pretty sure she is finished now so I hope you enjoyed this video that's my dress form like I said she is still drying so I don't want to tilt her too much I used an old candlestick I love the tarnished look and I think it went with the steampunk um, effect very nicely so Thank you so much for watching and like I said there will be some photos on the Couture Creations blog where you can see her in much more detail. So take care everybody. Bye.